Following the tragic terror attacks in France, European markets ended the day lower. That's not a big surprise at all because there's been so much turmoil in the region. Is now the time for investors to look elsewhere or, or really is Europe the place where you'll find the best bargains? We bring in Fox Business's Tracy Burns, Jeff Reeves from InvestorPlace.com and Jason Rotman, managing partner at Lido Isle Advisors. Uh, Jason, let me start with you because obviously and we we definitely want to stress we understand the human toll and the tragedy of all of this. But as a business network, Europe has been down, but it's definitely not been out. Where do you see it if you were to put that on a ladder of best investments versus worst investments? Um, more towards the ladder of uh, worst investments. I mean, I really wouldn't get too excited about Europe, you know, from an investment standpoint just yet. I mean, Yes, you know, it's nice to be early on, on some great idea, hypothetically, but at the same time, I still want to and I still need to see some type of evidence that there's some type of turn in Europe. And to be honest, Draghi's still throwing, you know, billions and billions of dollars at Europe just, just to try to bring it back to life. That's not really that, that pretty of a picture for me, so I'm going to hold on Europe. Okay, well, Jeff, it's a plan of 500 billion euros as far as a stimulus idea is concerned. Some say that's not enough, but you've got to figure at some point Europe's not going away. Is now the time to get in? Well, I, I agree with the notion that Europe's not going away. I don't know if now is precisely the time to get in. I, I agree with, uh, with the idea that there's a lot of pain going on right now, and, and I don't know if the timing is right. I mean, manufacturing numbers have been bad. When you look at PMI, GDP numbers still look bad. They're talking about deflation and a triple-dip recession in some of the bi biggest areas. I mean, there's a lot of attention on Greece, but, I mean, let's not fool ourselves. Greece isn't the real problem here. It's a pretty small part of the entire Eurozone. The biggest problem to me is the idea of deflation that's kind of hurt both consumers and businesses across the continent. So I keep my eye on that, and I don't think the time is, is right right now. Yeah, I think you're, you're a little early for that. Deflation is a huge issue. Uh, Tracy, and then you pile this horrific situation on top of everything. I have heard more than one person say, oh, I'm not going to France right now. Uh, right. The violence, the anti-Semitism at the moment. Plus, the, right. a lot of people are leaving Europe because the taxes, France in particular, the taxes mm -hmm. are too high. Uh, Francois Hollande is not a, a big popular type of person. I don't know if this changes what happened with a, a relatively successful outcome with the hot situation. But look at the names of the big companies there. Air France. You have Suez, which is a big quarter company. Total. Uh, not to mention the retailers like LVMH, Louis Vuitton. Right. And Caring, the sure. parent company of, of Gucci. Uh, are, are they going to get hammered if consumers don't show up to buy? I think you don't want to take that risk unless you are truly a bottom fisher and you truly know what you're talking about. Because I'm sure there are some individual stocks that are perfect for traders. But for the, you know, the long-term buy and hold guy, I think that, that you wait this out. And while Greece may not be the whole story here, if Greece does leave the euro, God, no one knows how that plays out. Absolutely. Greece has the power to cause real what? spasms in the eurozone. The massive drop in oil hurting many portfolios globally lately. But if you hold out, so we were dovetailing from hold out in Europe to hold out in oil, could that pain turn into gains? Tracy, I start with you this time. I mean, we're looking at, at oil now below $50 a barrel. Is now the time to jump in? Again, we're trying to get people to look ahead versus just right now. So, and I, I thought about this. Liz, and you know what? The frackers are getting killed. Mm -hmm. And their valuations are so low these days, much more so than, say, an Exxon. So maybe it's the continental resources, the whiting petroleum. Maybe those are the stocks we should be looking at as takeover targets. Jeff, do you agree? Are you in oil right now? Uh, personally, yeah, I'm in oil. I like MLPs. I think for, for most individual investors out there right now, Master uh, especially the ones who are in right? long-term yeah, long-term trades, uh, MLPs, Master Limited Partnerships, or energy plays, but they're also big dividend stocks. So if you're patient enough, I'm not trading oil right now because, uh, you know, I think you've got to be really, really shrewd to pick an exact bottom in oil. But stocks that have a big dividend, some of these MLPs have yields that are, you know, four or five times treasuries right now. So if you can get a big income investment like that, uh, it kind of pays you while you wait. You don't have to pick the exact bottom. And some of these MLPs are a lot more stable than, like, the small cap exploration wildcatters out there. So uh, I'm kind of nibbling at oil right now, I'd say. Uh, but I, I'm definitely not jumping all in and trying to pick a bottom. Okay, but, but Jeff picked uh, Halliburton among some of his names. Jason, you say Lynn Energy, which is not necessarily the beaten path investment here, but you like it. Why? Well, you know the famous phrase, follow the money. This is an absolutely perfect example. Um, I've, I've said it many times before, Blackstone is one of my favorite companies in the world. It's definitely one of my favorite stocks in the world. Blackstone or a, a unit of Blackstone just basically did a capital partnership deal with Lynn for about half a billion dollars. 
So Blackstone has confidence in Lynn Energy. Whatever, if Blackstone has confidence in Lynn, <laughs> I have confidence in Lynn. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and, and that's just the honest truth. I mean, Lynn is an amazing long-term successful uh, company. Kind of an ugly one-year chart, down. but uh, you're <laughs> yeah. saying now and is with, the time. With Lynn, yeah, I, I am saying right now is the time with Lynn. Eleven's the magic number for Lynn. It's $11 a share, which is insanely cheap, and it pays 11% per year dividend. That's a deal. Okay, it's such a deal. We love it.